Yo, what's up guys? I'm Seven Beats, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to export your beats in Avo Studio and upload them to BeatStars. If you like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So right now, I've created a template for you guys. So right here, I'll export my beat. And right here, I will export my tagged MP3, my untagged MP3, and my untagged WAV file. So these are just text files, but just to show you what will be in there. And right here is the folder where I will export my stems. So I will export my beat once without the master chain and once with. Because maybe when I'm sending it to an artist, they want to make some adjustments. And when I'm just sending my master stems, so with my master on, this won't be really possible, so we're just going to export the beat twice. So the first step is to export the tagged mp3, which I'm going to use on YouTube and on my BeatStars. So make sure your tags are enabled. File, export, yes, mp3. And right now my beat is named pnd5, but I will just pnd5 and tagged. Save. If you want to, you can also export a WAV file which is tag, so just enable this one, but I will just export the mp3 file. Make sure you're using these settings and really make sure you export the tempo information because when an artist bought your beat, they can just simply read the tempo information and enable these. So enable the master, insert and trim the PDC slice. So right now we've exported the first file, so make sure you disable your tag. And we're just going to file export again. Choose the folder and untagged. Save. And right now we want to export that WAV file and MP3 file. So just select these two and you can just keep the settings from the previous export. And right now we're going to export the stems. And right now it gets a little bit tricky because when you're using a gross beat or balance or EQ and you have automated it and it's on your master chain, you don't want it to be disabled. So right now, as you can see, I've not used any of these effects on my master. But when you have some effects on your master which you don't want to be disabled, just disable the mastering tools manually. So just disable them like this. So I will just disable them all, like this. File, export, WAV file. And right now, access the stems folder, master of, PND. And I will just add to make it really clear, master of, save. And right now we're going to split the mixer tracks. And as you can see, this one will be blurred. So you could still disable this one or enable. If you have a master chain like me, so like this, you could just disable the master effects like this. But right now, just to show you, I've just manually disabled them and export. And right now, just unmute everything. File, export again, PND. So master on, save. You could just enable this one start so right now as you can see we've exported all the files so we created the stem file master on and we've created the tag files and the untagged files so right now when you're uploading to BeatStars just rename this one and this will be my PND 5 beat and right now we're going to zip this file send to compress zip folder and right now we're going to upload on BeatStars. So press upload, upload new. And we're just going to drag in all the files. Upload. And we're going to create this production tracks. So my track will be called, no, we'll call it Baronet. We'll call it PND. And as you can see, the zip file, mp3, and two WAV files are uploading. So right now the tracks are done uploading. So we're gonna upload the untagged WAV or mp3. So this will be my WAV file. We're gonna upload the track stems, pnd5. And we're gonna upload the tagged file. So this could be an mp3 or WAV file but we've created the mp3 file. So select this one. 
You can also add your artwork, but I'm not going to show you that in this tutorial. And that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and see you guys in one of my next tutorials.